Hey Aries, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, Aries. It is always greatly appreciated. So June 2022... Messages for you. Cross watchers are welcome here as well. These are very general messages, you guys. So please keep that in mind while you are watching. It may not entirely resonate with you. Just take what does, leave what does not for the next person. And if you are interested in booking a personal session with me, check out the description box below for all of the details, okay? Um, Aries, so I'm I'm hearing you, okay? You are not to be played with or um, a certain situation, okay, somebody in regards to you is not to be played with or tampered with in the month of June. It is giving me a little bit of the Pisces energy. Um, so you may be on the cusp of like um, Pisces Aries, or maybe you're just dealing with the Pisces. Um, but their reading had a lot to do with somebody playing with fire, okay? So maybe that is in regards to you, if that resonates for you. We have nothing is set in stone. Well, and we have a win-win uh, outcome is in the forecast here. Okay, so these messages could be very significant for you. This says full moon in Libra. So something's not over yet. Something is not done. Um, it's giving the energy of the last laugh. Okay, Aries. Um, I don't know if this is you getting the last laugh in a situation or someone else is. The two songs I got for you was Dead Man Walking by Brent Fias and um, Freaking You by DJ Khaled, okay? Featuring uh, Lil Wayne and a bunch of other artists. But I'm just trying to figure out, it's almost like I just keep getting something should not be played with or tampered with, okay? Whether this is you, okay? Guidance for you not to be involved in some sort of situation or in regards to you, like someone should not try you, trigger you, whatever the case may be. Um, for some of you guys, it could be in terms of like a, ro a relationship or a romantic interest. Um, cause it's almost like you are giving someone a fair warning. Okay. Um, if this is someone that's close to you or like, um, somebody you're in a relationship with, or maybe you've already given this person like a fair warning to like not play with you. Um, or to not play with what's yours. It's very territorial energy. So let's go ahead and hop into it, Aries. Please like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, um, the more I push your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. I'm also hearing, Aries, like you could be, it depends, like what version of you that people get depends on what they give you, how they treat you etc so you can be very like you can definitely have some sort of clap back okay or you can put somebody in in their place like you are just not to be played with but you could also be very loving nurturing caring i don't know for a lot of y'all it just seems like it, it could be in terms of romance but it could be in regards to any um any area of your life okay it's almost like you can depend upon like how a person treats you or um, interacts with you, you know, what they do in front of your face versus behind your back. It's something like that, like the loyalty or the integrity. They can get the nice you or they can get the you should have known better type of you, Aries. So let's see what comes out for your messages from the Moonology deck. Your commitment is being tested. Yeah, I feel like you're just being tested overall or your commitment, like a relationship is being tested here. I don't know if it's like a third energy, a third party energy outside of you and someone else, okay? If this is a romantic relationship or even if it is some other type of friendship or, part or partnership, it's like your commitment to someone or something is being tested here. And it really feels like fair warning, like you are trying to really let somebody know to not go there or you already did this and maybe that line was crossed, okay, or it's being crossed in the month of June. At the bottom, it says, what do you need to release, okay? Um, it may be this particular person or situation here. Somebody may have put you in a position to like have no choice or they'll be putting you in a position to have no choice, Um but to act in a certain way, okay? Or react in a certain way or have some sort of boundaries or um, to kind of like do something. I don't know why I'm here and like retaliate. Um, so I don't know. It's definitely kind of similar to the Pisces energy. So if this resonates for you or Pisces, uh, Pisces energy resonates for you in any way, go check that out. I feel like you'll gain more clarity. 
Let me know in the comment section below as well. Psychic Oracle, we have obstacles and challenges at the bottom of the deck. So what do you need to release? Um, let's see. So there's definitely something that is challenging here. Okay, there's something that is difficult for you to get over, okay? Um, or again, it's kind of like some sort of line being crossed or boundary, okay, or bridge. Some of you guys are burning bridges with a particular person or somebody burned their bridge with you, okay? This is you right here, the authority figure, okay? Aries, this is Aries energy or Taurus energy as well. Something about crossing you or someone knows not to cross you or they should have known better than to cross you, Aries. I keep getting that, okay? Because you have some sort of power, okay? Some sort of say-so, especially with the magician card here, Virgo, Gemini energy, three of swords. It's, it also kind of feels like you're trying not to be this person, okay? You're trying not to be this harsh person. You're trying not to like um really give somebody possibly what they are asking for or what they deserve like somebody could be testing you triggering you poking the bear type of energy here but it's giving me the energy of like you'll shut that shit down real quick aries like but i feel like you're trying not to do so somebody could just be underestimating your power okay your position fulfillment of wishes awareness shadow love begins i don't know it's like things could be extremely great, okay? Or they could just go completely downhill, but it's up to it's up to you, but it's really up to whoever this other individual is or whatever the situation is. So let's see, Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for the Aries? Okay, messages for the month of June 2022, main energies, who and what is coming towards the Aries? Any clarity, any confirmation, anything that they are needing to know at this time? It feels like multiple people are trying you or testing you, okay? Um, or, yeah, in regards to a particular situation or uh, multiple areas of your life, Aries, it just kind of feels like, I don't know, like somebody could be calling your bluff. Let's see. Patience and planning, mental conflicts, okay? And I feel like there is something... Um, it's almost like a plot twist or a roadblock. Like things were going great. Things were very smooth selling, okay? With this person, the situation, whatever this is for you, home life, work life. But then something happens and it throws you off, okay? Or some, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing and you don't like that. I don't like that, okay? So there's something that you don't approve of, okay? But I, it feels like this is already known. So it definitely feels like somebody is testing you here. Crown chakra, you could be finding out some sort of information. Mental conflict to the to the crown chakra, though, it's almost like you resolve the issue real quick, okay? But it feels like you um, take things into your own hands or you come up with your own answers or something like that in regards to whatever, whoever this is. Material harvest. Now, also, um, if there is a delay or a roadblock in something that you have been putting a lot of effort, time, energy into, money into, I see you guys getting over that hump as well, okay? If you're worried about something working out the way that you want it to work out, I feel as if you'll get some confirmation or clarity or peace of mind in regards to this. Like, it's going to work out for you, especially if it's in regards to business, finances here, okay? Or, um, or Virgo, or just any type of like tangible material things in your life. Yeah, because we got victory and success. I don't know why I'm here and turn that frown upside down. Okay. Um, a cancer could be significant as well. And then we have a uh, sacred chakra, your wants and desires. Okay, so something here is working out. And that's what we had. A win-win outcome is in a forecast. What do you need to release? So maybe in regards to something, Aries. Um, just be cautious that you aren't overdoing your, doing your part or you're not being, you know, overly aggressive or overly guarded or um, anything like that. Because with the win-win outcome is in the forecast and then we have what do you need to release? Something here in the month of June could be very promising and it may not call for you to be in this, the energy that you're in, this guarded energy or this fire en fiery energy that you're in. Okay, so let's see what's at the bottom. Spiritual union. So yeah, a connection. Um, for 
for some of you guys, there's no reason for you to kind of, somebody could be making accusations against you or you're making accusations against someone else or you just feel like something's going on here. Okay, but maybe you need to release, it's something here. I feel like it may that may not be the case. For some of you guys, it could be. Okay, spiritual union, patience, positive movement forward, universe. Also, um, if whatever's being done, I'm just feeling like try not to stress, try not to overanalyze, look for any information, etc. Because if there is something that is being hidden, done in the dark, okay, something that's just a little skeptical, a little shady, it's going to come out in the month of June. And I feel like if that is the case, anybody doing any deceptive behaviors around you, behind your back, um, it's going to work out for you regardless. So it's almost giving the energy of somebody playing their self if they're trying to play you or play with you, Aries. So just give it some time. Allow the month of June. Okay, it's the sixth month. It's about um, balance. Um, I almost said karma, but yeah, balancing out of karma. So allow it to play out because I don't feel like you have to do much. Somebody is going to uh, screw themselves over. Somebody's going to play themselves in regards to you. I didn't even mean to start shuffling. Let's see what's at the bottom. Ten of Wands. Okay, so this is the ending. Somebody could be trying to, if this is past energy for you, this person could be trying to come back to you, travel to you, okay? Or you are ultimately, you know, by the end of the month of June, you're packing your bags and you're moving, whether it's energetically, mentally, physically, like you're moving forward. Yeah, two of wands, you're making the decision. Three of wands. It just feels like you were, you've been waiting for the right time. You've been waiting for the evidence, for the opportunity. Something you've been waiting on, it's like you're getting the green light to do so and you're you're doing so. All this fire energy showing up here. Um, it could be some sort of disconnect with a mother, mother figure, mother of your children, okay? A Libra or a Taurus. Some of y'all could be finding out something about seven. Somebody could be seven months pregnant, okay? Somebody could be finding out about a pregnancy as well. Page of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Hangman, okay? So let's just see. Let's see. Spirit, Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my Aries for June 2022? Who and what is coming towards them? Any clarity, any confirmation, anything that it, they are needing to know at this time? Messages for my Aries. High Priestess, okay, Pisces energy. Could also be a secret, okay, or something that was not known. Five of Pentacles that will become known. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups. It's like Six of Pentacles. It's like Abort Mission. Temperance card justice um somebody could be trying to apologize to you aries also a sagittarius could be significant who or what is coming towards the aries at this time holy spirit eight of wands yeah something's happening very fast or some sort of information or communication here is making you like completely um go left or abort mission okay or something about an uh, actual abortion may be significant aries um but let's see six of wands Sun card, all this fire energy. Pisces had hella fire energy too. Um, but this is success. This is getting over something. This is a victory that's being illuminated to you. Some of y'all are finding something out and it's exactly what you needed to know, been wanting to know, or it's exactly what you need to like free yourself from a situation. Whether this is, you know, a good thing or a not so good thing, I feel like ultimately it turns out to be a good thing for you. Seven of Cups. The hermit card, okay. Um, y'all could be trying to figure something out, okay, or figure out someone or figure something out in regards to a Virgo, okay. And that's what's happening, like you're getting clarity on the situation. Or somebody could have been doing something behind like a Virgo's back. The Eight of Pentacles, which is also Virgo, the Four of Cups. It kind of feels like maybe you were working on something. You could have Virgo highly aspected in your chart because this could be you, okay? It's like somebody's trying to figure you out or figure out what you know or vice versa. And it's, it, it could also be something that you're working on or this could be work itself. It's kind of like a missed opportunity, Okay. Um, or it's like no longer investing into this. What else? Six of Pentacles with the Six of Wands, Four of Swords with the Sun card. It's 
it almost gives a bittersweet energy. Okay, it's like if something doesn't work out, it may suck, you know, somewhat, but it still works out for you, Aries, is really what I'm getting here. But I do see you not, I see you like no longer investing into something, okay? No longer putting your energy into something. It's very clear to you that you need to rest. You may need to rest, okay? Or you just need to um, heal from something, okay? Whether it's like a, a physical something or an energetic type of something here. Or lay something to rest. Like it's apparent to you that you need to lay something to rest. The Seven of Cups, the Knight of Swords. The Ten of Wands. Some of y'all have been trying to figure out who the snake is in your garden, okay? And you find out exactly who this person that can't be trusted is. And I feel like you're cutting it off. You're cutting off the connection here or the access to you. Yeah, full card here. This is you, Aries. It's like you were working on something, possibly investing into something, someone. But it's a change of direction here. The full card or the six of swords. But it's kind of like maybe you can't leave just yet. Or maybe you can't fully disconnect from this person for whatever reasons. Or the situation for whatever reasons. Um, or maybe you're kind of stuck in the energy of wishing it did not have to be this way. It does not have to be this way in regards to whatever this is for you in the month of June, Aries. It's at the bottom. Seven of Wands. But it's something about protecting your peace, okay? Something about this situation has you too much in your head. You could be very close off to a Pisces energy as well with the hangman, okay? Um, Ace of Wands, King of Cups, Page of Cups, Ten of Swords, Lover's Card. It just kind of feels like you're finding out something about certain individuals in your life, whether it's romantic or not. And it's almost like you just don't want anything to do with it, okay? Again, I got similar energy uh, for the Pisces. So let's pull some cards for your advice, Aries, and see what comes out. And then we'll pull one final message from the Divine Doris deck. Nine of Wands is already at the bottom. Eight of Cups, Three of Pentacles, to no longer work with this person, okay? To trust this person, collaborate with this person. From your past, it could definitely be a Scorpio, okay? With all this uh, Scorpio energy here. Um, or it could be any water sign, Libra as well. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's like, it's just like you got your guard up, okay? Or somebody can't be trusted, a situation can't be trusted. At least that's how you're feeling in the month of June. What is the advice for my Aries, Holy Spirit? Let's see. Six of Pentacles. Hmm. It's the focus on something else, okay? Someone else, make the transition, okay? Whatever that means for you, Aries. What is the advice for my Aries at this time? Six of Swords. Moving forward. Yeah. The World card. Closing out some sort of cycle. Three of Cups. There could be more than one person involved. A third party situation. King of Wands here. Okay. Or whoever this King of Wands could be approaching you. Or Queen of Wands. Somebody could be approaching you wanting to like make amends. Make up. Reconcile. Something like that. Apologize. Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, stand firm in whatever boundaries you've set here, okay? You may need to cut out a Libra. Oh, yeah, you may need to cut out a Libra, okay? Um, Gemini or Aquarius, but Libra is really sticking out here. Um, the Devil card, Capricorn Energy, Eight of Cups. It kind of feels like you're obsessing over this, though. So if there's something that you are obsessing over, again, lay that to rest. Don't stress yourself out. Don't worry, don't wonder what's going to happen is what's, what's going to happen, okay? Things are going to be illuminated for you in due time. The Three of Cups with the Three of Pentacles, this is definitely third-party energy. So whether it's like a cheating situation or just too many people involved or a friend group or friend circle, an Aquarius star card energy. Hmm. World card, let me see. Page of Swords. Some it's a lie here. And I feel like you're figuring it out. It comes to you. This is three of swords energy. This is three of swords energy. So something here is either very disappointing or a heartbreak, okay? Or you um are disappointing or breaking someone else's heart or letting go, disconnecting. Ten of Wands. 
Something here is just messy. It's a messy situation. At the bottom, we got the Wheel of Fortune, okay? The Hermit card. Take control of the situation. Two of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Three of Pentacles. It's like... I'm here and think before you act or react. Think before you do something, say something. Just think, Aries, okay? That is the advice. I'm going to leave it here. Or actually, nope. Sorry, Aries. One more card. Let's see. Patience is at the bottom of the deck. So it says, everything soon will come to light and then you will see things will be all right. Everything I just said. Everything I just said in your reading, Aries. But I'm going to go ahead and pull for you. Final messages, final messages, Holy Spirit, for the Aries for June 2022. Have patience. It's like think before, I don't know, take time out. We got nomad and we have blessed this space. So it says the nomadic wanderer lies deep inside. So take the leap now. Don't crawl back and hide. Okay. And it says bless this space. Your sacred space holds the soul to bear. Palo Santos and age will clear and sage will clear the air. I feel like you need to kind of like take a step back and think about something, okay? Um, or clear your mind, clear your space, clear your energy before you dive back into whatever this is, approach whatever this is, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you guys soon.